Hi, my name is Phil, and my wife Amy and I are fixing an old house. In the basement on the north end of this aged house, there is a window that is made of five large blocks. Four of them are glass, and in the middle was a jalousy. Not only was this jalousy letting in cold air and bugs, but it had a broken pane so we could not close it. Worse, since it was below ground level on that wall, one very rainy day a river of muddy water ran through it. So we put in a proper window well with the bottom much lower than the window and Amy bought a 12 by 12 inch glass block and some glass block mortar. The first thing we needed to do was remove the old block. You can bash a glass block out, but since we didn't want glass in the rocks of the window well or all over the basement, we wrapped the panes of the jalousy with a rag and gently tapped them with a hammer until they broke in half. Then we pulled them out and pried out the metal frame of the jalousy. If this were a broken glass block, we probably would have tried to get it out in large pieces, probably by tapping on the mortar around the block so it came loose from the window frame. Once the metal frame was out, we removed the existing mortar. Glass blocks are mortared in place. The plastic simulated glass blocks are held together using a kind of silicone caulking. But with the glass blocks, you want fresh mortar to make sure they are secure. So you have to remove the existing mortar. The blocks have concave sides, which lock the block into the mortar, and therefore the blocks on either side. Plus, we wanted a good fresh bond with the window frame. So we chipped out the mortar, being careful to tap it in the direction of away when we knocked it off the adjacent glass blocks.
If you need to replace a bunch of blocks or you want to put in a window, there are kits including anchors and spacers and reinforcing bars put out by the glass block manufacturers that help you line everything up so the blocks are spaced evenly, sit at consistent heights, and look perfect. We didn't need those since we were replacing one block and all we needed to do was get that one block lined up. Amy dug some pressure treated wood out of our scraps and I cut out two little spacers to support the glass block while the mortar dried. We used glass block mortar mix from Quick Creek. It's just under 17 US dollars a bag and I'm certain we could have done a whole window with just one bag. This mortar is weather resistant, has waterproofing additives, and has about 60 minutes of working time so there was no rush and we didn't bother sealing it. Once the area was clear, we set the new block on the two wooden spacers to make sure the height was correct. Then we cemented the spacers to the window frame. That done, Amy and I mounded up the mortar to go under the block and set it in place. When you mix mortar, it's not good to breathe the dust, so use a dust mask and safety goggles or safety glasses until it's wet and don't forget to wear gloves when you're working with it. It can also be a little irritating to your skin. With a pH of 13, it can give you a rash. You need to fill the gap and that concave space on all four sides of the glass block. So we tried the old cake decorating bag trick, which sort of worked. I'm glad I used the bag, but I would probably have done just as well shoving mortar into the gap with a small trowel and a tongue depressor. You're going to use a trowel and a small rubber float anyway. A tile trowel and a tile float with a rubber surface will do if you have them. Otherwise you could improvise with a piece of wood or a shim. We smoothed the mortar inside and out and cleaned up the worst of the mess with a damp sponge like you would with tile grout. Except you really need to avoid touching the mortar since the gaps are probably much bigger than you would have with tile grout and the sponge will push the mortar around. If you touch it, you'll mess up your nice neat job. If you do mess things up while it's still soft, it's actually pretty easy to just paste some more mortar in place. You might want a little water to help it stick and help smooth it out, but don't use much. Mortar isn't supposed to be diluted. You'll weaken the cement. Clean up the mortar on the glass block and the window frame before it hardens. It's okay to leave a residue. That will come off fairly easily after the mortar is set.
that's it. There's not much else to do but enjoy the view. If you enjoyed this video, or even if you thought a jealousy was a kind of old car, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to click on the bell next to the word subscribe so you get notified when I upload another video. Thanks for watching. The pains of the jealous, jealousy, jealousy. I don't know how to pronounce the damn word. Jealous, jealousy, jealousy.